my fellow students, we've been working in Shanghai the past three, four months within the creative industry. And we are in the same school where we are supposed to go here to China and learn about the creative industry. And we've talked a lot about what, what is really good about the creative industry and what can we learn from, from the creative industry. And then we thought we want to ask the people in Shanghai the same question. Art is not a part of the creative industry. It's something about forcing people to take a stand. And you cannot stand in the middle. Design is the future of Shanghai. Commercial artists do not put their heart into it. We have so many opinions uh, and you can go back and forth and you can discuss and you can say I think this is important or I think this is important but it's something about asking people to say okay do I actually if we, I draw a very strict line between yes or no where would I be am I creative or am I not creative and it's not so much about the answer it's more about all the reflections that is starting so we're hoping that people leave with some new like hmm I wonder why I was the only one standing here or why everyone was moving there it leaves you in some dilemmas because sometimes you really it's not really comfortable to not go with the rest of the crowd that's what where we use that format it's uh, it's another way to express yourself we wanted to ask people how, how would they how would they like to help uh, this creative industry blossom some more blossom more yes yeah. so we asked the question in the post how are you going to contribute to the future so, of trying so to create a industry? I have this card, I should, I should write something? Yes, if you want to, or you can make a drawing. Make a drawing, or, or make yeah. some yes. suggestions, or yes, anything exactly. I mean, like. Yeah. I mean, maybe exchange ideas go well with uh, other regions, for example. So you should put those together and then... Do this creative industry, I think I'm not a creative person. 然后我能做的就是，在他需要钱的时候，我借他给钱，然后确保他在这个行业能够继续下去。然后他现在欠了我很多钱，然后所以说，嗯，我现在能做的就是尽量去忘记这件事情。然后就是就这样。We gave them disposable cameras and they said, "Okay, go out and take pictures of what is creativity to you." So these are some of some of the the results of what they had. This is just a story um, that is that is for me making a connection to the to the what can we say real Shanghai. I've been really, really into the um, to the Wikipedia. Okay. I really think that's a that's a cool idea. How does it work? Well, the Wikipedia is a definition of the creative industry, uh, but because it is a wiki, mm. um, then it just keeps changing. So okay. the, the people that is participating here today is uh, going in and editing um, in the wiki, so that the. The definition of creative industry is, is the sum of all the definitions that is here today. Being through uh, a couple of months working with these subjects, it's, it's wonderful that you're still able to ponder upon those little things that, like, Riding upon the the one urine bill, or mm. just uh, using chopsticks for something else. We've made some interviews with creatives from Shanghai mm -hmm. and asked them what could a banknote also be used for. And these are some of the answers we got. Mm -hmm. And we would like to encourage you to try and play around with these and see if you can figure some new things out. How you can use a one urine or a chopstick. I take one one urine bill and think of all the people who have paid with this for gum. Mm -hmm. A lighter, and maybe cigarettes, a magazine. And then if you look at the, the speech bubbles here, these are from the interviews of the statements yeah. that people have said have come within the within the different interviews. So for example, creativity in China is everywhere. If you don't see it, you're not looking hard enough. Yeah, I believe that. So if you if you like that statement you can put it on the on the door over there and then it, it's, we we do ten ten minute dialogue sessions. How do we give stuff to the people, which I think is a good thing, like students should have access to software, uh, poor people should have access to good clothes, right? but then how do you still reward good ideas? I think copies and fake goods actually provide a kind of market for common people to know about um, the design, the idea of the original brand. But I spent so much money coming up with research. For you to just go there and make money out of my my ideas. The government stamps you, artist. Okay, you're creative. Good. Next. I think the idea of better schools, because the schools have better teachers, have better ways to spot those people's ideas. 
then it becomes a great center. There's a tendency for my generation that for me to be creative, I have to be edgy and I have to be out there. And it has to be shocking. For example, some mm -hmm. kind of words that we put on the discourse of creativity, which is not. It's not an equal sign to creativity, but it's what I put into my life. So that's what's hard selling to the 50 plus generation. The generation gap is huge. The older generation, worse than Europe, worse than America, they do not want to change because they're scared of change. The younger generation is all about change. That was sort of the conclusion. This was actually the 10 minutes. It goes fast. In the beginning I went up and saw the graffiti artist upstairs and it looked like they were going to do some kind of, I don't know, map or something, but uh, something with the city. Uh,基于这次的活动,就是,呃,告诉大家,告诉大家,呃,上海的一些有趣的创意产业是在上海的哪一边,然后这一次的这个我的主题是,呃,map地图,呃,所以说就是我们选用了上海的一些,呃,地